Okay, so let's take a look at this. Now, we are gonna get to harder problems, I promise. This is just a quick little setup. I wanted to give you guys a problem where you probably don't even have to think hard through it. You could probably solve it without setting it up, but just to show the basic steps for dimensional analysis and then for ratio proportion. So we have here one milligram per one ml. We have an order for two milligrams to give daily, and we need to figure out how many mls we're gonna administer per day. So for dimensional analysis, we are going to put what we um, have on the left and then what we're trying to solve for on the right of the problem. So on the right, I'm trying to solve for my milliliters that I'm gonna give per day. And on the left side, I'm gonna put something that I already know, which is what I have here, this one milligram per one ml. So I'm gonna put my one ml and one mil over one milligram. Now, what I like to do when I'm doing these problems is to kind of check it off as I go so I don't accidentally re-enter information. For a problem like this, there's not a whole lot of facts. You might not have that problem, but if you have a lot of conversions happening and things like that, it's easier to check them off as you go just to save yourself any errors. So I'll plug in the middle now. So I have two milligrams daily. We need to get to our milliliters per day, so we need our milligrams to cancel out. So we're gonna put two milligrams on top and that's per day. And the reason why we do that is because when we multiply, our milligrams are gonna, um, when we multiply and divide, our milligrams are gonna cancel out. So you see that we'd be left with milliliters per day. So we multiply here, just our one times our two, we get two, and of course, our one times our one. So we see that we'd be giving two milliliters per day. Now, let's look at the same problem using our ratio proportion method and you guys just need to pick whatever method is going to work best for you and you stick to that but we want to go over both of these since these are common methods and make sure that everybody is getting um, helpful tips for these dimensional analysis problems so for this to set up with ratio proportion um, as we read this we can say that one milligram equals one ml right because that's our volume we know that that's the amount in one ml so that's our relationship one milligram over one ml and then what we're trying to find out here is we are trying to figure out how many milliliters, so X milliliters that we're gonna be administering. So when we set this up, we know that two milligrams, our relationship is equal to X mLs, right? Does that make sense? We wanna be able to make sure that we're figuring out how many mLs we're gonna give to get two milligrams. So remember those rules. We have to make sure our numerators and our denominators match. So we have milligrams on the top, we have milliliters on the bottom, so now we can cross multiply and solve for x. So when we cross multiply here, we get our 1x equals 2, and of course we have to divide by 1 to get x alone. So we see that we're going to be giving x equals 2 mLs. So we got the same problem here. We can of course verify our work, plug our numbers back in to be sure.